Okay, um, good afternoon everyone. Before anything else, I would like to greet you um, a happy new year. I welcome you all, of course, welcome to, to this virtual lecture. And for today's video, we'll be talking about beams. Specifically, we'll talk about the shear and the moment diagram. And I know you already have discussed this during your, uh, what's the subject? The strength of materials. Okay, but we'll have a short recap for this topic. And also, uh, later on, we'll discuss about uh, deflection using two methods. We have here the virtual work method and the other one is the double uh, integration method. Okay, so without further ado, um, let us have an example. <laughs> okay, so I have here an example. So we're to construct. Let me have here. We are to construct the the shear and the moment diagram. Okay, so for us to to construct the shear and moment diagram, of course, the step number one is to always solve for the reaction. For this case, since we are dealing with um, a simply supported beam, where a point load acting at the midpoint of the beam, so to to solve for the reaction, the reaction at at point A and at point B is uh, you can automatically solve the but the reaction is for point A, you have here the RA, and that is equal to um, half of the applied load, and that is 7.5. Okay, this is 7.5, this is in kilonewton. And also, you have here um, RB, this is equal to 7.5 kilonewton. Okay, now, to solve for the, I know, for the, I mean, to draw the shear diagram and the moment diagram, but there are different methods in, in constructing the, the diagram, the shear diagram and the moment diagram, Ever the area method, but for this case, for this discussion, we'll not use the, I know, the area method. We will use the, uh, we'll have first to look for the, the equations of the shear diagram and of the moment diagram, Okay. Pero it akon it picnicking din eh, para madagmit kita. It akon lang na himuon, it akon lang i is the equation of the moment diagram because uh, later I will show you why. Okay. So for segment AC, diba, to construct the I mean to find the equation of the moment diagram for segment AC, plane magpapas kayong cutting plane at of course at segment AC. Okay? So, I'll write it here at segment AC. Okay, so this is your cutting plane here. Okay, from the cutting plane, ngad to ha left, kukuha ang kuan and beam. So, this is the beam. And this here is your cutting plane. And you have here RA, which is 7.5. This is in kilonewton. And since nagkat ka man, ano, may danin mo din he, shear. Parang nagro-react ito niya, dida, may danin mo shear. And of course, may danin mo moment. This is your moment, and this one right here is your shear. And ako niko construct first is the, I mean, and ako bibilngon first is the equation of the moment diagram. How do we do that? O exasam natin ang moment, ang tanan nga moment, at the cutting plane din he. This is the cutting plane. Nida natin bibilngon ang summation of moment. Since this is in state of equilibrium, the summation of moment at that section is equal to zero. And we will take clockwise as the positive moment. Okay, and this distance right here is, this is x, diba? That is x. So, uh, you are summing the moment here. So, the moment for 7.5, that is positive because we are taking clockwise as the positive moment. That is 7.5 times x, 7.5x. And of course, we have here the moment. So, minus moment. This is equal to 0. So, your moment, this will be, your moment is equal to... 7.5x. Now, this is your equation of the moment diagram for AC. Okay. Now, the explanation why ginuna ko ang pagkuha ang equation and moment diagram because, kung di pa ka mamaaram, the relationship between the equation of the moment diagram and the equation of the shear diagram is that when you get the first derivative of the moment diagram, of the equation of the moment diagram, you will get the equation of the shear diagram. So, masarin ka. So, the, the derivative of the moment diagram is the shear diagram. Now, this is equal to. So, the derivative of 7.5x is 7.5. So, this is your equation for the shear diagram. 
Oke, okay, so, dili masalah yang kita. At x equal to 0, ibig sabihin at this point. Didi, hindi din hinga point. At x is equal to 0. Yan. When x is equal to 0, your value of the shear is equal to 7.5. Yan. And then value, and value and emo moment is equal to 7.5 times x. But since x is 0, so your moment is 0. Okay. At x equal to 3. At x is equal to 3. So at this point here. Okay. At this point here. Your shear is still 7.5. And your moment. You have here 7.5 times x. X is 3. So this is equal to 22.5. This is 22.5. This is in, of course, in kilonewton meter. This is in kilonewton. So, when you construct the shear diagram, so, did you know, when x is 0, the shear is 7.5, somewhere here. So, God. Tapos, when x is equal to 3, 7.5 lagi hap. So, an emo shear diagram na, so, God. Yan. So, at segment AC, this is your shear diagram. Okay. For moment diagram naman, at point, Z, at x is equal to 0, your moment is 0. So, it's here. And at x is equal to 3, your moment is equal to 22.5. So, somewhere here. Yan. So, you need in here, this is, this is 7.5 kilonewton. And this one right here, this is 22.5 kilonewton. Okay. Yan. Okay. Okay, now, at segment, ano naman, at segment uh, CB. Okay. I-erase ko lang ang ini because, wait lang ha, erase ko here, para may nakita space. Okay. Now, let's, we'll go to, at segment, at CB. Kaya rin nakita at CB. Of course, to, To construct the shear and moment diagram, you need first the equation, and to find the equation, you need to pass a cutting plane at segment CB. So, din hi, magka-cutting ka. Or you may use this segment right here to the to the left left segment, or you may use the right segment. Okay? So, gagamitin natin ang left segment na lang. So, we have here the cutting plane, tapos ang mimo B, mga DDD. Tapos, at the end, you have here the RA, This is 7.5. And this distance is equal to x. Okay. The somewhere right here is the 15 kilonewton. Yan. And this distance is 3. Yan. So this is the cutting plane. And on the cutting plane, you have here the shear and the moment. Okay, then this is the shear. Una na itong makukuha on and moment para madali lang pagkuha yung shear. Okay, masura. So, summation of moment at this um, cutting plane, at the cutting plane, should be equal to zero and we will take the clockwise moment as the positive moment. Okay? So, the forces that will yield a positive moment, of course, the 7.5 multiplied by x minus ang 15. This one right here, 15 And the distance of the 15 from the cutting plane is x minus 3. So that is 15 multiplied by x minus 3. And of course, the moment. This is equal to 0. Okay, now solving for the for the equation of the moment, is the transpose pula yun yung So this will become m is equal to 7.5x minus 15x minus, oh, plus 45. Is that right? Yes. So, your moment will be equal to, una hong kung pag-sura it 45, kaya magiging negative it po. 7.5x. Yan. That's your moment. Now, this is your equation of moment. To solve for the shear equation, the equation of the shear diagram, get the, ano, the first derivative. So, this will be equal to, Negative 7.5. Wala na. That's the equation of the shear diagram. So, makari ka naman. At x equal to, at c, x is equal to 3. Ano? 
your shear is equal to negative 7.5. And your moment is equal to, okay. Uh, let me use the calculator. So you have here, um, I know one equation, 45 minus 7.5 times your x is 3. Yan. So the result is 22.5. 22.5 this is of course in kilonewton meter and this is in kilonewton okay at x is equal to um at b x is equal to 6 6 your shear is still at negative 7.5 kilonewton and your moment is equal to so when when x is equal to 6 the answer is zero. So zero, zero at moment. Okay, so to construct, oops, wait lang na, zoom ko. Okay, so then he, the result is, for shear, negative 7.5 daw, so somewhere here. And at negative 7.5, so masogad nga din. Yan. Yan. So, this is negative 7.5 kilonewton. And for the moment, when x is uh, 6, when x is 3, the moment is 22.5. When x is 6, the moment is 0. So, masukalit yan. Yan. Okay. And this is your moment diagram. So, I might get pagbibiling hit equation. Now, uh, I want to reiterate this one, ha? Uh, I know it uh, it iba mag aram na iyo if not all because ini nga topic is gindi discuss ini as strength of materials okay what i want to reiterate is that uh, the relationship between the shear and moment equation okay so when you when you uh, when you get the first derivative of the moment of the moment equation of the equation of the moment diagram you will get the equation of the shear diagram so that's the relationship between the between the two and also another thing that i want to reiterate is the relationship between the diagram of course since the moment the moment equation any an equation and shear and moment diagram are are related of course an era gihap diagram mismo related it on here as to the behavior of the graph okay so maso well. and and even the load diagram okay so as it relationship it nera if the load diagram, say for example, huh? okay, so we have here a beam and you have here a load diagram, uniformly distributed, pananglitan. Okay, so we'll consider this the degree of the curve. Pero technically, there is a curve. Since flat man here, horizontal, this is uh, signata zero degree here. So, pagkadihan shear diagram, this is the load diagram. Huh? So, pagkadihan shear diagram, ma increase ito niya in degree magiging first degree here so masugad na itong here or bangin sumugad giha basta whatever basta it, what i'm trying to emphasize here is the relationship of the degree of the curve the, the, the behavior of the graph so dili magiging one degree na here tas pagkadihan moment diagram of course ma increase itong here magiging two degrees na here so ibig sabihin curve na itong here masugad okay magiging curve so kung pananglitan dili palahan ko an let me erase this again so, kung pananglitan di di palahan load diagram, nakakuha na hiya, naka triangular load. So, this is first degree. Pagkadihan shear diagram, of course, you will expect nga curve ito niya. Curve ito niya per me. So, ano man it degree ito nga curve, 2 degrees ito niya. Na-follow ito niya dito kung ang iya sinusuntan nga diagram. Tapos, pagkadihan hit moment diagram, curve niya, 3 degree. Yan, okay? So, that's the relationship between the the diagrams and its equations. Okay, by the way, ha, if you have questions, please ask your question because may dakita din mga facilitators. <laughs> yeah, we're waiting for my question. Oh, Ma'am Rina and Ma'am RJ. I personal now. Oh, yeah, I got, I got personal. <laughs> Anyways, okay, did you get any sample problem? Another sample problem. Okay. We have here um, RA and we have here RB. 
So, then for our A, so magsasamkitahan moment at B. This is equal to zero. Let us take clockwise moment as the positive moment. So, we'll have um, our A multiplied by 5. And we have here minus 10 times 4. Adi ha? Adi nga 10 times 4. And magnitude pala ito hand, hand force times the moment arm that is 1 plus 2. So, this is 3. Nakuha kung kaya na nakuha nga 3 because we have your 1. Tapos, ang katong hand force. This is equal to 0. So, then for the value of RA, RA is equal to, um, so this is 120 over 5. 120 over 5 is equal to, this is equal to 24, this is in kilonewton. Yeah, so that's your RA. Now, to solve for RB, we'll use the summation of forces, summation of forces along Y. This is equal to 0. So, we have here RA plus RB minus 10 times 4. This is equal to 0. You have already the value of RA, that is 24, plus your RB is, oh, among yung bibiling, minus 40, equal to 0. Your RB is equal to 40 minus 24. 40 minus 24 is 16. 16, yes. RB is 16. Kilonewtons. So I write it here. Ha? This is RB is 16 kilonewton, and your RA is RA is 24. This is in kilonewton, of course. Okay, so that's how you solve for the reaction. Okay, let me try to erase this one. Okay, so we already have the the reaction. Now, magpapas kayong cutting plane, then we are at segment AC. Okay, so this is your cutting plane and this is your beam and of course you have here the reaction and that is 24 kilonewton and the distance of that that force to the cutting plane is x and you have here a uniformly distributed load whose magnitude is 10 kilonewton per meter yeah and of course may din here and shear and the moment Take note, the shear is always downward and the moment is always counterclockwise. So we are summing the moment. This is equal to zero. We are taking clockwise as the positive moment. Ang dito mga clockwise nga moment. Take note, hindi kita nagsasamahan moment. Okay, so the positive moments are we have 24 times x minus 10 times x. That's the magnitude of the force pa lang. Diba? Because this is uniformly distributed load. Times the moment arm, that is x over 2. Yan. Minus the moment. Of course, this moment right here. This is equal to 0. So, so this become moment is equal to 24x minus 5x squared. Is that right? 24x minus 5. Yes. So this is your equation for the moment. Next, you have here the, the equation of the shear diagram. You just need to find the derivative of the moment diagram. This is equal to 24 minus 10x. What? 24 minus 5 times 2, that is 10 times x. So, this is the shear diagram. Yan. So, makalika naman dili. At x equal to 0, meaning at this point, din he. Okay, when x is equal to 0, your shear is equal to, let me get my calculator, that is 24 minus 10 times x. Your x is 0. 24. Okay, in, this is 24. Bakit yung compute po pa? 24 kilonewton. And your moment, your moment is equal to 24 x minus 5 x squared 24 x minus 5 x squared so when x is equal to 0 the value is 0 so your moment is 0 okay so at x is equal to 4 ibig sabihin at point c x is equal to 4 your shear is equal to so this is 24 minus 10x, I hope na nasusundan ha. 
that is 24 minus 10x when x is equal to 0 a uh, 4 pala 4 your value is negative 16 this is negative 16 kilonewton and your moment is equal to oops let me recall the equation this one right here x is equal to 4 when x is 4 16 positive 16 this is in kilonewton okay now we will construct you have here 0 and oh, shear pala is 24 so I need to somewhere here so let me this is 24 sorry we're in a space let me erase this one okay so somewhere here this is 24 kilonewton and at point C, when x is equal to 4, your shear is negative 16. Ah, di 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 ubus. Ah, di negative 16. So, o maano ka naman? Is the curve ba hiya or straight line? O, amat di dit gamit. Kita o ni mo, it sinusundan niya nga, nga diagram and load diagram. The load diagram, the degree of the load diagram is, kung man hiya, horizontal. Okay, so horizontal. Tapag ka di 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 ha shear diagram, magiging inclined hiya. Straight line lagi ha, pero inclined. Yan. So, this is the shear diagram at segment AC. Okay, how about the moment? When x is equal to 0, your moment is 0 here. When x is equal to 4, your moment is 16. At hobaw bow somewhere here. Positive 16. Now, what is the behavior of the graph? Straight line ba? Curve ba? Oh, again, ha? Kikitaan ni mo, it sinusundan nga diagram. The shear diagram. The degree of the of the curve, of the shear diagram, dili nga niya curve, line lang niya. So, the degree is 1. Diba? So, pagka hindi ha moment diagram, and iya degree magiging 2. O, ibig sabihin, curve na niya. Now, it question, ano ang klase nga ka-curve? Nasugad ba? Or rasugad ba? Diba? Okay. It, titigam nan lang niyo. Kikitaon niyo dito habaw. It sinusundan niyo nga diagram. Diba? We are looking for the diagram of the moment. The moment diagram. Ano natin naging bibiling. Kikitaan niyo and sinusundan niyo. And that is the shear diagram. Okay. So, we are at segment AC. Hindi kita segment AC. At point A, the shear, the shear at point A is 24. The shear at point C is negative 16. So, nag-decrease siya, di ba? From 24 to negative 16. Okay. So, adi ha? Curve nga ni imugin bibiling. Curve nga ni. The curve will behave like this if decreasing. Nag-decrease. Di ba? The curve will behave like this if increasing. Okay. Na smile nga ni positive na sad nga ni negative. Okay, so, okay. The, the behavior of the curve is something like this. If nagdi-decrease, ang sinusundan nga diagram, uh, the behavior of the curve will look like this if ang sinusundan nga diagram is nag increase Okay, kita ah. Nag-increase ba or nag-decrease ang sinusundan? The shear diagram, from 24 to negative 16, nag-decrease, di ba? So, the behavior of the graph, the behavior of the graph should look like this. Okay. So, from 0 to 16, masugad ito niya dapat. Yan. Okay. Okay. Okay, something is wrong with my solution. Okay, again. Uh, ano kasi, di ba? Uh, I forgot nga when the shear is zero, okay, right here, at this point here, when the shear is zero, supposedly, dapat a-add to dito at maximum moment. Okay? Supposedly, dapat a-add to dito at maximum moment. So, let me rewrite again the, the shear and moment the, uh, equation. So, the moment equation, kanina, at segment, ada kita, mabalik kita ha at segment at segment AC. Mabalik kita lang yung at segment AC. 
Okay. At segment AC, the moment equation is, let me rewrite it again. Amo na ini at at um, x is equal to 0, same na na, na, na natin, your shear is equal to 24 and your moment is equal to 0, nakuha na natin kang ina ini, and at x is equal to 4, your shear is equal to um, negative 16 and your moment is equal to 16. Okay, kailangan pa natin ngayon mabiling ang moment didi, didi at this at this point right here because when shear is zero a add to dito it maximum moment okay so first first thing you have to do is to identify the distance this distance okay. ano ba yung distance masaya let on here you can use the the ratio and proportion let me erase this one first okay so we need to find this distance let me denote this as um a na lang a small letter a so to solve for that small letter a we, we can use the ratio and proportion okay ratio and proportion triangle okay so we have here this triangle is proportional with this triangle right here diba? Ini nga triangle ini is proportional to this triangle so we can say um 24 oh, wait lang. a is to 24 is equal to if this is a what is this distance that is 4 minus a right because the, from here nga d is 4 so from here nga d is a so this distance is 4 minus a so this is 4 minus a over 16 yeah so to solve for a you can use the ano Your x is 2.4. So, your a is 2.4 meters. So, we sabihin, this distance is, this is 2.4. So, we need to find for the moment pa at 2.4. At x is equal to 2.4, of course, your shear is equal to 0 because you already know a 0. Adaman, did that, diba? And your moment is equal to, what is your moment? Adi na natin equation. You, you only need to use the equation. Okay, using the equation, your moment is 28.8. So, 28.8 siya. 28.8 kilonewton meter. So, ada. So, indeed, maximum here dida, di ba? Kay 16 la didi. Tapos, at this, at, at this point, hindi, 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 dapat 28 here. So, add here dito. This is 28.8. And indeed, still, di ba? And yeah, behavior hand graph is like this. So, masugad itong hiyang ito. Yan. Okay, ha? So, ini. Mag zero nga ni each shear, a-add to itong did to it maximum moment. So, sometimes, the, the problem would say, find the maximum moment. Okay. Takay dali ko man maaram kung hain, hain di in nag occur and maximum moment. So, the first thing you have to do is to find the the, the point where the shear is zero. May dito mga problem nga. Yung papabiling and magnitude and maximum moment. So, your first, ano, your first uh, problem there is actually to find the point and, uh, that has a zero shear so that you can find the magnitude of the moment. Okay, so that's it. Okay, now let's go to segment CB. Okay, so at segment at segment CB or BC, okay, we pass a cutting plane, and okay, so this is the the cutting plane, and this is the the segment, the left segment. So we have here the twenty four kilonewton, and we have here the the uniformly distributed load, and the distance. This distance is 4, and this distance is x. Magnitude is 10 kilonewton per meter. So this is, you have your shear, and you have here the moment. Okay. So to solve for the, the equation, to find for the equation of the moment, we sum the moment at, 
at the cutting plane right here, that is equal to zero. Okay, we will take the clockwise as the positive moment. And uh, the forces that will generate positive moments is this one, 24 kilonewton. This is in kilonewton. So we have here 24, and the moment arm is x minus. We have here 10 times 4. That's the magnitude of the force multiplied by the moment arm, and that is... Um, from the centroid of this triangle uh, rectangle here, diba? So that is from from the cutting plane nga DDD is x and from the centroid nga DDD is 2. So this distance is x minus 2. So that is x minus 2. Okay? And of course the moment minus moment is equal to 0. So your moment is equal to 24 x minus 40x plus 80. Yan. And simplifying this further, this is equal to 24x plus minus 40 is 16. Negative 16. So this is 80 minus 16x. That's your moment. And your shear, that is negative 16. Okay. At x is equal to 4 your shear is equal to negative 16 and your moment is let's use your calculator 80 minus 16x yeah. when x is 4 16 your moment is 16 at x is equal to 5 shear is equal to uh, of course, negative 16 lang ahaw. And your moment, when x is 5, the answer is 0. Your moment is 0. Yan. So, you, uh, your shear is 16. And when x is equal to 5, 16. So, what straight line? So, God. Yan. Negative 16. Tapos, did is 0. So, curve gap. Ah, no, no, no. There is a curve. Straight lang here. Because, ang uh, sinusundan nga diagram is... Um, horizontal. So, pagka di, um, straight line lang ako hiya, pero naka, kuwan na hiya. Yan. So, this is your shear diagram. Okay, take note ha, the, the degree of this curve is 2. So, that's it. That's how you solve for the, the shear and moment diagram. Okay. So, so much for that. Okay. The, the next topic is finding the deflection using the double integration method. Yan. Okay. Let us have this example. We are to find for the um, deflection. Say, yung papabiling it deflection. Okay. Now, wait lang. Kaya ano ba kay, kailangan natin may baruan it pag find it deflection? Ano ba it deflection? Deflection, di ba, when a beam is subjected to load, nagde-deflect ito niya. When we say deflection, parang nagsasag ba? So, for example, in a simply supported beam, when this is subjected to um, a force, uh, concentrated, concentrated load, as shown, this beam will deflect. Parang mag... It, yeah, elastic curve will look like this. I-exaggerate ko lang, ha? For the sake of discussion. So, God. Kung baga-amoy niya, it iya it, 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 behavior. Parang magsasag ito niya. Okay? But in reality, in reality, nagsasag talaga hiya, pero diri suga dito, not that much. Okay? Kaya makaradlock na ito, yun, suga na ito, it pag deflected, imubalay. <laughs> okay, so, it gives nga deflection is this distance. Ini nga distance. Amo ito hiya, kinyayakan nga deflection. So, where to find for that deflection? Using the double integration method. Okay, so paano man ginbibiling it double integration method? Okay, first step is again, of course, to find for the reaction at its supports. Okay ha, simply supported beam man la ini. And also this is, the, 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 the concentrated load is acting at the midpoint, midspan of the beam. So you can, we can just immediately find the reaction at point A that is 5 kilonewton. And at point B is 5 kilonewton. Yan. Okay. Now, the next step is to find, I mean, 
uh, yes, to find the equation of the moment. Okay? Kasi, it double integration, nasa ganun ni ha, okay, bibili mo ni mo and, um, okay, so we have here, um, and ano daw kasi, uh, uh, y double prime is equal to um, the moment over EI. Okay. Then, when you when you integrate this one, so, ang makukuha ni mo is y prime, and, uh, of course, the integral of moment over EI plus C. Okay, C1. And when you integrate again, this will become, magiging y na lang siya. So, this is the the whole integral of the moment over EI plus C1x, of course, yun integrate mo, plus C2. Yan. Ah, may itong hiya it equation. Okay. Inihiya, this one. This one right here, ah, may hiya sinisiring a deflection. This is the deflection. And this one right here, itawag ito na hiya is rotation or sometimes called as slope. Slope. Okay, ano ito ibig sabihin ito ng slope? So, for example, ginbibiling an, at this point, ano ito ng slope? When you uh, construct a tangent line at that point to the, to the, to the, to the elastic curve of the, ano, deflected curve na, ito ng slope, mga ginayakan is this angle. Ito. Okay? Ano ito hiya nga angle? Okay. Only na later, i-explain ko ito niya. But first, let us focus more, laanay at the deflection because that's our topic for today the deflection okay so in order for you to find for the deflection it imo pinaka number one concern dida is the moment equation you need to find the moment equation for the whole beam okay ha? the moment equation for the whole beam now remember kanina uh, kanina first topic naton is constructing the shear and moment diagram using the equation of the of the shear and moment diagram, di ba? Oh, that's uh, the reason why uh, may daman kung taan mo masayon ng pag-find han ko an, an pag-construct han shear and moment diagram and that is the the area method. But I hope to to use the the um the one where we need to first find the equation because in this topic you you will use that I know that that skill in finding the equation of the 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 moment equation okay so paano man okay let me erase this first okay so paano man okay it atong ginbibiling an moment equation han whole beam an kanina ang kanginan for this topic an atong dibag ginbibiling naton an moment equation by segment at segment a sila anay at segment cb naman and so on and so forth yan na it atong bibilngon an ia moment equation for the whole beam Okay? The moment equation for the whole beam. And to do that, uh, makatukala rin to hit pinaka-last nga segment. Okay? How many segments are there? There are two segments, the AC and CB. Dito ka, magpapasingkating plane and pinaka-last nga segment. And that is CB. Okay? So, dito ka magpapasingkating plane. Uh, Papasingkating plane here. This is your cutting plane. Uh, this is your cutting plane. And... You will isolate from the cutting plane to the right. To the left, I mean, to the left. Masugan. This is your cutting plane, and this is your beam. Of course, you have here 5 kilonewton, and you have here 10 kilonewton, and you have here shear, and of course, the moment. And this is x, and this is 2 meters. Yan. So, to solve for the moment, this is your shear and this is your moment. So, you have your summation of moment at the cutting plane is equal to 0. Then, clockwise is positive. So, we'll get moment is equal to 5 times x uh, minus 10 um, times 10 times x minus 2. x minus 2. Okay. Diba, if you can remember kanina, uh, if you apply this kanina, 
this equation is actually the equation of the moment diagram at segment CB. Okay, that this is the equation of the moment diagram at segment CB. Actually, okay, paano man ito natin may himo nga maging kuan hiya, uh, the, the moment diagram for the whole beam. Okay, simple lang. In, in here, this one right here, we value on mulahin in nga sign. Okay, oops. Instead nga parenthesis, we'll use this sign. Parang bracket nga, uh, less than, greater than. Okay, what that indicate is when the value within that koan, within that, uh, uh, that quantity, the value within that quantity is less than zero, meaning negative. Mag negative nga ni itong hiya, this whole, ano, this whole uh, term will be disregarded. Okay, for example, when x is, uh, say for example, when x is um, zero, when x is zero, the value within that, ano, within the bracket is equal to negative two. So, ibig sabihin, this one right here, you will disregard it the imot ig di disregard dire mo na hiya gagamiton okay amot ibig sabihin hiton nga kuan okay so this is the moment equation now next so the moment equation kanina ha uh, you have here the y double prime is equal to the moment over ei or we can write this as ei y double prime y double prime is equal to m Yan, e i y double prime is equal to m. Okay, so let me write it here. E i y double prime is equal to the moment. And the, the moment is, ano naman ang moment? This is equal to 5x minus 10, x minus 2. Okay, take note, ang gimbibiling natin ng deflection is the deflection at the midspan. Then here, how much on ining ining a distance and atong gin bibilin. Okay. So when you integrate in when you integrate this one, mag bibilin nga ni mo an e i integral of y double prime is y prime of course. This is equal to uh, never mind this one na ad na lang a five x. This will become integral of five x is five x squared over two. And this is negative 10 x minus 2 squared over 2 plus c, c1. Mm -mm. Yan. And when you integrate again, your e i y double prime, ah, sorry, not y double prime, e i y, y na lang, this is equal to, yes, 5 x cube over 6 minus 5 x minus 2 cube over 3. Ini nga 5, that is 10 over 2, that is 5. Kung nag-integrate lang kita ha, ura-ura naman, hindi ka makakunit integral. Okay. <laughs> plus C1x plus C2. Di ba? If you can still remember, nag-integrate ka nga ni, wala nga ni plus C. Wrong ito. <laughs> Yan. Okay. So, ini, ini, ini. This one right here, this is our equation for the deflection. That is your equation for the deflection. Ini naman, this is your equation for the rotation or the slope. And yes, slope ba? Okay? So, ini, ini, amo yun hiya it aton actually kailangan la. Okay? Amo yun it aton kailangan. Well, let us try to solve um, sample questions. Okay, pananglitan, may dakita mga question. Let me erase this first, ha? I-erase ko lang ini para may dako space. Okay. Pananglitan, ang ginpapabiling the deflection at point C. Okay, syempre, masarang ka, deflection. Uh, adi ito nit ginpapagamit. Okay, deflection man. Adi nga, an ikaduha nga gin, kuan, nga gin integrate. Oh, this is the deflection. Adi man, the Y here is the deflection. Ang EI naman, ang EI, this is the, the, ano, and property itun hiyan section. Uh -oh. And E, diba? E is the modulus of elasticity. The I is the moment of inertia. So, anatang yung bibiling is Y. Okay, ang yung bibiling man kasi is deflection at point C. 
Ibig sabihin, adding at atong gagamit. Because this is the equation. But there is a problem. Kaya ano? Ang gimbibiling is, yan ha, take note ha, adi ang gimbibiling, y. So, based on this equation, you need to find the value of x. di ba? Ano i-evaluate x at this point? What is the value of x at point C? The value of x at point C is this distance. At point, at point A kasi, your x is 0. At point C, your x is 2 meters. So, ibig sabihin, you just need to substitute 2 here at x. Tapos, makukuha na natin ang value and y. Amo ba? Okay, not so fast. Because, dirigyap kita maaram han value han C1, nga han C2. Take note ha, to solve for y, again, to solve for y, this y here, never mind the ei because that's constant. Constant itong hiyag. Usually, ginahatag itong hiyag problem. Okay, never mind the ei ha. To find for the y, the deflection, you need the value of x, which you can easily find here because you know naman kung ha hindi in ang papabiling na deflection. O sabi rin ni ako, find the deflection at point C. What's the value of x at point C? 2. Oh, usually, let's take it again. Find the deflection at point uh, at the point 3 meters from the left support. O, oh, adi itong di nga point somewhere here. Because this point right here is 3 meters from the left support. Oh, usually, ginahatag itong kung hain nga point ang ginpapabiling ang deflection. So, din here, and x, dire natin problema because we can, we can easily find the value of x. And that is 2 meters because ang ginpapabiling is the deflection at the mid-span. Ito atong problema is to find for the value of C1 and C2. So, how do we find the value of C1 and C2? Uh, para mabiling natin ito ng C1 and C2, nag-apply kita at sinisiring ng boundary condition. Ano ito niya mga boundary condition? Okay, first boundary condition. At x is equal to 0, hain ito nga x equal to 0. Din hiya, at the support. At the support, at x is equal to 0, the value of uh, the deflection, what's the, de what's the value of the deflection? Of course, 0. Diri ito nga dito magde-deflect because add to the support. Okay. At x is equal to 0, the value of the deflection is 0. So, mas rin katili dia, usay ito nga boundary condition. At x is equal to 0, your y is equal to 0. O, diba? Haim pa di init y is 0. Of course, at the other support. What What's the value of x at the other support? At x is equal to 4. Since that is a support, di rin manat dito magde-deflect. Because supports are considered rigid your y is also equal to 0. May dakita duduha nga boundary condition and that is enough to solve for the value of C1 and C2. Okay. We will use the ano ha? We will use the um, this equation. In, in, this equation. So, at x is equal to 0, mas rin ka, EI, at x is equal to 0, your y is 0. EI, y, y is 0 daw. So, this is 5, x is 0. Okay, I, I'm using this equation, ha? 6 minus. We will disregard this na because when x is 0, 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Di ba? Naya ka na kangina. I disregard natin if the value within that uh, quantity is, within that bracket is negative. Less than 0. Mag negative nga you disregard that. So, dire ko na yung isusurat it yan hinga uh, quantity. Because nag nag na negative man yan. So, i-disregard ko ini nga term. Okay? So, i-disregard ko ito nga. Ano ko nito surat didi? Plus C1. The value of X is 0. So, maging 0 na hiya. Plus C2. Okay? So, this is 0 na. And unknown na lang didi. This is also 0. This is also 0. Di ba? Ibig sabihin, C2 is 0. Wada na. May nakita value han C2. Ibutang ko lang C2 is equal to 0. Yan. Okay, let me erase this one again ha. Because I don't have space. Kuti lang itak space. Okay, now let's go to... Okay, may nakita C2 ha. 
Oh, let us use the second boundary condition. This is the first boundary condition kasi adyan ni Kadu ang boundary condition. So, apply natin ang first boundary condition. Nakuha natin ang value ng C2. Oh, let us apply the second boundary condition. Using the same equation. Let us use the same equation. Okay. So, hindi na EI. And y daw is 0. Of course, 0 lang nga Is equal to 5 times when x is 4 cube over 6 minus. Dito natin nag disregard because and at it sulod, dito naman negative. That is 4 minus 2 cube over 3 plus c1 times 4, and C2 is 0 naman. So, we call it that 0. Now, you have this equation, ha? Huh? So, this is 0 and 0. Okay, so this will be, this is 0 is equal to, I think, dire nyo nakikita, ano, madam? Okay. So, let us uh, solve for the value of C1. So, this is your 5, um, 5 times 4, cube over 6 yan so that is 160 over 3 this is 160 over 3 minus this one right here that is 5 2 cube over 3 and that is 40 over 3 this is 40 over 3 plus c1 times 4 okay, solving for the value of c1 you will get, let me try to solve, 0, 160 over 3 minus 40 over 3 plus C1, and that is times 4. Solving for the value of C1, your value is negative 10. So your value for C1 is negative 10. When I see C1, that is negative 10. Let me put it here. C1 is equal to negative 10. Yan. Okay. Let me erase again because I don't have many spaces. Okay. Take note, meron nakita C1, meron nakita C2. We will use, of course, the same, ano, the same equation. Let me write it here lang. And the other equation, AI wide. Yan. Okay. And let me erase this. Okay. We already have the value of C1 and C2. Okay. Ang ipapabili natin is the deflection at point C. So, basta nila kita, at x equal to 2, ang ipapabili is the value of y. Ang ipapabili is the value of y. So, how do we find the value of y? Oh, kung gamito natin ito yan, hing equation. So, basta kita, e i y is equal to uh, 5x squared the value of x is 2 5x cubed pala, sorry, 5x cubed over 6 minus 5 eh, oh sorry, x is 2 minus 2 cubed over 3 Plus, C1 is negative 10. So, negative 9 din he. Minus 10. And your value for X is 2. Yan. Plus C2. C2 is 0. Uh, Dire ko na ibubutang. Kay 0 man hinga. Okay, yan. And this is also 0, di ba? 2 minus 2 is 0. So, yun din he magiging 0 na yun hinga. So, 0. So, your EIY is equal to that is... 5 times 2 cubed divide 6. That is 20 over 3. This is 20 over 3. Okay, so your y, therefore, your y is equal to 20 over 3 EI. Okay, ha? Wari man, man kita nagatagan value ng EI. 
But take note, ha, EI is just um, uh, constant. So that's the value for the deflection at the mid-span. Okay? So that's how you solve for the deflection. O, pananglitan. Pananglitan. Pananglitan ang ginbibiling is the slope at point C after we apply the 10 kN uh, load. Okay. Pananglitan ang ginbibiling is uh, the, not the deflection but the slope. Okay. Dinhi. The slope at this point. Oh, to, to get the slope at that point, magkukuhala kita hin tangent line at that point. Obviously, the tangent line is horizontal because uh, kwan man hiya? Symmetric man hiya. So, ibig sabihin, um, the curve will also be symmetric. And kwan ba niya? Elastic curve ba han ano? Han, han beam. So, kay, kwan man symmetric, it follows that the, the tangent line at point C is also horizontal. So, we, we are expecting that the value of the, the theta or the, the slope at that point, at point C, it should be zero. Okay? Let us try to, to, to solve. Kung zero good man. Kung zero good man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Naka ko, anak ko. May inom dola na ako. Okay. So, that's the value of the deflection. Now, let us try to solve for the slope at point C. Okay, let me try to erase this first. Erase ko lang yung kay Warren up on space. Okay, so that's the deflection. Okay, and now we're, we're trying to solve for the rotation or the, the slope. Okay, so next kay slope man yung bibili ano? Adding equation that gagamiton. This one right here. Ini equation. Okay, kay take note how y prime. Di ba ha ha kuan ha ha um, differential calculus. The y prime is the slope of the ano, the slope of the the equation, the slope of the function. Y prime is the slope of the function. So same gap din ni y prime is the slope. Y prime is the rotation. Okay, so let us try to solve for the rotation at point C. What's the value of x at point C? Oh, x is 2. 2 meters. Tapos ang ibibili natin is y, y prime. Ama ang ibibili natin. Y prime ang ibibili. So, gagamitin natin ang EI, the, the first equation, this one right here. Y prime is equal to your x is 2 squared over 2. Yan, minus <coughs> 10 times 2 minus 2. This is 0 naman. So, there na natin ko compute. So, this is 0. 0 here, kahit 2 minus 2 is 0. Plus, C1 is negative 10. So, negative 10 it here. Yeah. Minus 10. Okay, so this is EI, Y prime, is equal to 5 times 2 squared is 4. 5 times 4 is 20, divide 2, that is 10. This is 0, this is minus 10. 10 minus 10 is 0, so therefore, AIY prime is indeed equal to 0. So, Y prime is 0. So, indeed, the, the slope at point C, since that is symmetric, the slope at point C is indeed equal to 0. So that's how you solve for the ano, for the um what's this for the reaction? Ah, sorry, the slope and the deflection. So this is the slope. Okay. Now let me introduce to you another ano, another way in solving for the deflection of the this beam. Okay, let us try to use another way if in solving. May nakita sinisiring a virtual work method or the unit load method. Ano ibig sabihin nito niya? Uh, same lang nga how, uh, by segment logo din niya, by segment. And 
magbubutang kahin virtual load, virtual load, ibig sabihin imaginary load lang, at the point where you want to find the, ano, where you want to find the deflection. So, kung pananglitan, ang imugin bibili nga deflection is at point C, magbubutang ka dito, mag assume ka nga may dito ni mugin butang nga unit load. Ano ito nga unit load? What's the magnitude of that unit load? One, ka unit load nga ni, diba? Okay, so, Uh, in unit load method or in virtual work method, let us use this table. We have here the um, portion of the beam. Ano ito nga portion of the beam? Kasi may nakita ko an. May nakita different segment of the beam. We have segment AB, uh, segment AC, we have segment CB. So, segment AC is another portion of the beam. Segment CB is another portion of the beam. Portion of the beam. Uh, we have here also... the origin, origin nga yung mga gamitin. Wait lang ha, explain ko yung tago sa usa later. Origin and the limit, uh, the moment, and the moment due to the virtual load. Okay, ini nga M, capital letter M, ini nga M, this M right here, that is the moment equation of the beam due to the actual load. ba diba? May nakita actual load, DD. This, this 10 kilonewton, That is the actual load. Okay. So, ini nga, ini nga capital letter M, that is the actual moment equation due to the actual load. Okay. Ini naman nga small letter M, that is the moment due to the virtual load. Ang kangina nga yung may ga-assume, mag, mag, magbubutang kahin unit load. Okay. Later, i-explain ko ito pa further. This limit naman, because, kaya ano may nakita limit? Because, um, according to this theory, meaning nga virtual work method, According to this theorem, the, the deflection daw, the y, or sometimes this is denoted as delta, the deflection daw at any point is equal to, using the virtual work method, is equal to the moment equation due to the actual load multiplied by the moment equation due to the virtual load over EI from, of course, may niya limit. Okay. Yan. The summation. I forgot to put the... The summation. Summation because th there are many portion of the beam. Oh, muna din yung portion. Okay. For, okay let, to demonstrate, let us try to solve. Okay. Let us try to, to solve this one. Okay. Portion of the beam. There are many portion of the beam. We have A, B, A, C, and B, C. So, dudo ka portion. May nakita A, C, C, B. Okay. So, we have portion of the beam. We have A, C, and C, B. Origin naman. Kaya ano may nakita origin? Because, tag integrate kasi kita. So, nadipindi, it value it aton limit kung hainan aton origin. Okay? So, pwede natong gamitin for AC. Mag-construct mag ka na kita it moment diagram for AC. Di ba? Magkupas kita yung cutting plane din. He. Kupas kita yung cutting plane din. Da. Tapos, ang aton origin usually is at point A. Di ba? Tapos, at point C, B, pwede kita magpas kita yung cutting plane din. Tapos, naman natong gagamitin nga portion, ah, nga, nga origin is point B. Simple rin, imo limit mag, magbabag o gihap. Na dependent imo origin. So, you have to identify the origin. Okay? For the sake of discussion, let us try to have a uniform origin lana. For AC, our origin is point A. And at portion CB, at segment CB, an aton origin is still at A. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, an aton limit, okay, an limit na na AC, that is, tiknota, this is AC, AC. That is from 0 to 2. And, and CB naman, that is CB. And aton origin as at point A. So, at point C, that is 2 na. 2 to 4. Now, what will happen if an aton origin naging gamit is um, point kuan? Never mind. Okay. So, an aton limit is 2 to 4 because an aton origin is at point A. Okay. So, an moment diagram naman, ang may tuntat. kukuha hindi da at aton igbibiling well, let me try to let us try to 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 find the moment equation of the beam due to the actual load lari ha capital letter m take note capital letter m that's the moment due to the actual load, an actual load, like this one. Okay. At segment AC, lahat kita. 
Siyempre, segment AC, magpapasok yung cutting plane di that. So, ang moment ni mo, this is your... Okay, so you have there the, the moment equation. This is 5, and this is x. Yan. Tama na. So, your moment, your moment is equal to 5x. That's it. That's your moment. This is 5x. Okay. Ano sa naman for segment CB? Your moment, this is the cutting plane. Tapos, so God. You have your 5. And this distance is x. And you have here, may na mo load di nga, 10. Okay, so this is, your moment is equal to 5 times x minus 10 times, um, that is x minus 2. X minus 2. Yan. O, diba? That is 5x minus 10 in a space minus 10 times x minus 2 yan so that's the moment hindi naman kita hit virtual load ano may itong virtual load take note ang ginpapabiling na ang ginbibiling natin is the deflection at the mid span so dito kita kukuhaon natin ang actual load the actual load is 10 kN kukuhaon natin tapos mag apply kita dito hin uh, virtual load unit load okay so, this is the beam. That is the beam. Tapos mag-apply kita. Kukaw na ang load nga 10 kN. Tapos mag-apply kita rin dahil virtual load. Mayroon na ito 1 kN. 1 kN that i-apply kay, di ba, unit load it i-apply. Mayroon na 1 di da, mayroon na di 0.5. Mayroon na di 0.5. So, ang imo-moment, di di, ang imo-moment is 0.5x. Ang imo naman di di moment is 0.5x minus 1 times x minus 2. So, x minus 2 na lang. x minus 2. Yan. Yan. Okay, let me try to explain again. Uh, okay, so this is the virtual, virtual, ano, virtual load, the 1 kN. And these are the, the, ano, the uh, reaction due to the virtual load. So, to find for the equation, moment equation at segment AC, this is ACB. To find for the moment equation at segment AC, kung kapas kayong cutting plane, di da. Okay, di di ko nalai ko, ha? This is the cutting plane, and this is the the load. So, meron din di da X, this is X. So, your moment, your moment, small letter M. This is denoted by small letter M because this is due to the virtual, virtual load. Your moment is equal to 0.5X. Tapos nandun naman, at segment CB, magpapas kayong cutting plane din he. Okay, and this distance, aman hiya and X. So, this will be your moment naman. This is equal to 0.5 X minus 1 times X minus 2. 1 times X minus 2. So, dito ko naman, dito naman natin yung surat it 1. So, that is 0.5 X minus X minus 2. That's why we have here we have it here. Okay? So, that's how you, that's how you solve for the moment pala ito and moment equation pa lang yan. Okay, so, to solve for the ano naman, to solve for the deflection, kagamito na natin ito yung hinga equation, yung hinga formula. Pwede ba? Yung hinga formula. Okay, summation man ano? So, we have here the delta is equal to Iguguas ko it EI. Diba? EI kasi is constant. So, pwede na ito nito na iguguas. 1 over EI. Okay, let, let us go to portion A sila anay. At the portion of the beam. The integral of, what's the M? Ano man? 5X. 5X. What's the small letter M? 0.5X. 0.5X. You have here 5X times 0.5x dx. Yan. Okay? Ginguhas ko naman ang EI. And of course, the the limit, ano man ang limit na natin? That is from 0 to 2. Summation ha, because may dapat natin usap pa nga segment. Plus, 1 over EI, the integral of, ano man? Ha? Capital letter M, 
capital letter M is, let me try to simplify this one. This is equal to 5x minus 10x. That is negative 5x plus 20. Right? Or if I rewrite this one, this is 20 minus 5x. So, I'm going to 20 minus 5x. And this one, this is um, 2 minus 0.5x. 2 minus 0.5x dx. Yan. And yun, and yun naman limit, that is from 2 to 4. This is 2 to 4. Yan. So, you will use your calculator naman to find for the value of the deflection. Okay? So, let me use the calculator. The answer is 40 over 3. Of course, don't forget the 1 over EI. Okay, may daan 1 over EI times 40 over 3. Yan, yeah, or this is simply 40 over 3 EI. So that's how you that's how you solve for the the deflection using the two ano. Okay, I'll have actually made up ako koan. Made up ako um another example. Okay, last example na lang this one. This will be my last example. Okay. okay, let us see. Let me try to discuss this one. First, using the, ano, the, the double integration method. Okay, so, nasa ba din eh? Okay, kailangan, may, may dala na natin reaction. We have to find the reaction first. So, we have here the, uh, the summation of moments at point B is equal to 0. Taking clockwise is the positive you have here. RA. RA multiplied by 6 minus 5 times 4 times 4. Times 4 because 2 plus 2. Ani kasi din iya ko anan. Iya magnitude na ko ko. So this distance nga di is 4. This is equal to 0. So your RA is equal to 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 5 is 80. 80 divided 6 is 40 over 3. This is 40 over 3. This is in kilonewton. Okay? So that's the value for RA. For RB naman, we have used the submission of forces along Y is equal to 0. Taking clock taking upward as the positive forces. So we have RA and that is 40 over 3 plus RB. Right here, this is RB. Minus 5 times 4. This is equal to 0. So your RB is equal to your RB is equal to um, 20 over 3. So this is 20 over 3. This is the verb. RB. Okay, next. So we have here EI Y double prime is equal to the moment. Oh, kukuha na ito ng moment. Take note, didi kita, mag, didi kita magkukuhaan iya moment at the last segment. Didi. Didi kita magpapasingkat yung plane. Okay, ha? But before you do that, you have to make sure. Ini, ha? This is very, very important. You have to make sure nga itanan nga uniformly distributed load and uniformly uh, varying load. Example, it uniformly distributed load is this one. Rectangular load, that's a uniformly distributed load. You also have the triangular load and that is a uniformly um, varying load. Uniformly varying load. Okay, so tanan, tanan nga, tanan nga, so ganito nga load, uniformly distributed and uniformly varying load. Kailangan, Continuous here, tipakadtuhan, pinaka last nga, uh, pinaka right most nga, uh, pinaka right nga, makuan, pinaka right nga 
nga point. Pinaka-right nga point. Pinaka-orhe nga point. Okay. So, for this case, kita na good. Diri man hiya continuous, di ba? Nagkutob layout point C. So, it aton gin bubuhat, gini extend ini natin. Gini extend. Okay? Gini extend ito natin hiya. Pero, kung yung mga nag-extend, na-alter na, di ba? Na-alter na ang iya original nga 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 load di ba ano yung original kasi nga load kutub lahi rin ha point C kutub lahi din he nagbubutan ka man gin extend mo man o na alter na so to compensate that kuan that load nagbubutan gyap kita ha ubos okay ha yan so masugad hila nga may da abaw ba may da ha ubos so it's as if parang nagbabalance out lahi ha okay so parang litan kung may nakita another another beam okay another beam For example, an IMO uniform distributed load nag a This is the actual load, ha? Pananglitan lang. This is the actual load. Okay. There are two segments. This segment, ini nga segment, tapos ading nga segment. Siyempre, pag biling ni mong itia uh, moment equation, didi kahit last nga segment. Didi ka na magpapasing cutting plane. Okay. You don't have to, bangin mo pa kasi i-extend nga di nga di, ha? Diri mo na ito nag extend because nag extend la kita did to han han imuging cut imuging katan i mean uh, how do i explain this ini extend mo la kon ah uh, kon an an ko an an iya an iya uniform distributed load is ah uh, diri kutob ngadtuhan last nga nga point dito han oh, oh, support And not support the, the point because sometimes kasi there are to the point it support sometimes kasi we have a beam like this uh, may ready support as added mo sa support kasi may ready mo di uniformly distributed load waray man hiya kutob nga di kailangan talaga kumutubit yung anto tapos ma, ma, makumpinsit ka na lang nga di ha ubos okay okay anyway okay so that that's how you this is when Uh, this is only when you are using the double integration method. Okay? So, amun ito niya. Tapos magpapas ka yung cutting plane. O magpas ka din cutting plane. Okay, magpapas ka yung cutting plane. This distance is equal to x. Okay? And your moment is equal to ra. This is x. ra times x minus, take note ha, may da, 5 kilonewton meter ha, baw, baw, kutub na nga di ha, point B. So, that is 5 times X, sorry, this is 5 times X, that's the, magni that's the magnitude pa lang, di ba? Kasi this distance nga di, is X naman, and your 5 kilonewton meter is kutub naman nga di. Okay, so that's the, the magnitude pa lang. Takay moment man ang ginbibiling. Times x over 2 pa. Diba? Ani mo rin itkabubot nga. So, this distance is x over 2. So, 5 times x times x over 2. Tapos may da pa rin di aubos. Adi pa. Adi pa. Di man nga mga load. That is plus same magnitude 5 times What's what's this distance? Ano tinga distance? That is x minus 4 because this distance is 4. So ini nga distance that is x minus 4. So that is 5 times x minus 4. Take note magnitude pala iton hiya. This is the uniform the magnitude of the uniform distributed load ini nga 5. Tas ini an iya the distance where the uniform distributed load is acting. So ini ini hiya nga dudu ha, when you multiply, that's the magnitude of the force pa lang. Multiplied by the unit arm pa, that is, the moment arm, I mean, that is 4, ah, sorry, x minus 4, x minus 4, kaya animat din it iya moment, uh, it iya load, tas ini nga distance, that is x minus 4 over 2. Okay, so, amin ito niya iya equation. Okay, but take note ha. Since uh in kukuha man natin ano an an ini kasi ini ini ini. Ini nga equation, this is technically the equation for segment CB. But since an natong kukuha is the equation for the whole beam. So ibig sabihin ini ihibuon ni natin nga inside nga parenthesis it atong gagamiton is the the bracket na. 
So this will become m is equal to RAX. What's the value of RA again? RA is 40 over 3x minus this is 5x squared over 2 plus. Mga sugat nga ni hini, ayaw niyo i-evaluate. Please ayaw i-evaluate. Ayaw i-multiply 5 times x. Yes, is lang. So magiging 5, magiging x minus 4 times x minus 4 is x minus 4 squared. Take note, ayaw i-evaluate over 2. Yan. So that's your moment equation. Okay? So ang matat gagamitin pagkadididiha ko an. Let me bring it here. Kakali ko didi. Okay. So, adin natin moment equation. Adin natin uh, equation para han ano. Okay. So, we have here, i-write ko lang adi. EI Y double prime is equal therefore to 40X over 3 minus 5X squared over 2 plus 5 x minus 4 squared over 2. Take note ha, inihiya nga, inihiya nga, ay, symbol, ini nga, parang greater than and less than, that's a bracket. Um, when the, the value within that, that bracket, the quantity within that bracket is less than 0, you have to disregard the whole, ano, the whole, um, the whole term. Okay? You have to disregard the whole term. Okay, next. EI, Y prime. Ibig sabihin, ging kuha mo na ang first deri an, an integral. Yung integrate mo. Because the integral of Y double prime is Y prime. So, this will be equal to, pero ito niya, 40X squared over 6 minus 5X cubed over 6 plus 5 x minus 4 cube over 6. Of course, plus C1. C1 plus C1. <clears throat> okay. Next, we have here, uh, let me decide to simplify this first. EI Y prime. Isi simplify ko lang. 40 over 6. 40 over 6 is, um, wait lang. Let me have a calculator. 40 over 6. That is 20 over... <laughs> Hello, my God. Diri na ako nakakakuan. <laughs> Hinugutom na. <laughs> 20 x squared over... Over 3. Minus 5 x cubed over 6. Oh, 20 kate lang ah. Para mag... Mag negative nga ni value three dila. Hours, I do this. <laughs> 3 hours na? Waray pa. <laughs> Nearly. Nearly. Mag 3 hours na ako nga nagiginamos didi. C1x plus C2. Yan. O, may nakita. Ay, hala, ginano ko. No, 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 no. Mali, mali. Gin, sisimplify ko pala nga yan. Okay, so... This is our equation for um, the slope or for the slope for or the deflection. Ah, the slope or the rotation, not the deflection. Okay. Tapos, i-integrate pa nga rin natin. Makukuha natin ang EIY is equal to this is 20x cubed over 3 times 3 over 9. That is 20x cubed over 9 minus 5x raised to 4 over 24. Ano? Asya ba? 24 plus 5x minus 4 raised to 4 over 24 plus c1x plus c2. Yan. Ini naman, amin hiya ang iyat aton. Um, deflection. Okay. So, ang pananglitan, ang ginbibiling naton is, uh, take note ha, ang aton ginbibiling is the maximum deflection. 
and what I'm going to be doing is the maximum deflection. Let me try to erase this one. Let me erase ko lang ityadi ha kay para may dako space. Okay. So, ang uh, pananglitan ng gimibiling natin is the maximum deflection. Okay, may nakita problema because we don't know kung hain nga section and beam nag uh, uh, and may da maximum deflection. What we need to do is to first, of course, uh, you have to anticipate la na. Okay, so th when we draw the um, the elastic curve of this beam, parang usually ari man di nga portion and left to the left man, usually an portion nga may da load, di ba? So, dapat, ang aton, ang aton, tawag ito, ang aton, elastic curve would look like this, parang, parang masugad. Masugad. So, somewhere, somewhere here, aan hindi ni it kuan. Aada, dida, it, maximum deflection. Diri kita maaram kung ano ito nga distance. Kung what, what is that distance? Nga dididihan aton, Um, left uh, left support. So, amo ito nito na nga nimo, natin nga bibilngon. Okay, so, paano man natin bibilngon? <laughs> Mag-a-apply kita hin kuan. Mag-a-apply kita hin mag-a-apply kita ang boundary condition. Okay. So, una, ang atong boundary condition. Okay, di din natin yung butang. Ang una natin nga boundary condition at at x is equal to zero, we know that the deflection at that point is also zero. And also, at x is equal to um, pera ba ito? 6. We, all, we also know that the deflection of that at that point is also equal to zero. Okay, let us try to use that ano. Okay, when we substitute uh, this boundary condition here to this equation, okay, let us try to solve. This is uh, magiging zero any. This is equal to This is also zero. I'm using this one, ha? I'm using this one. In the substitute, kung ada, zero man an, x is zero any. This is also zero. This is also zero. This is zero. And what we build in la is C2. C2 is zero. So we can say that C2 is zero. Okay? C2 is zero. So mapatang kita rin di, C2 is zero. Now, when you use this boundary condition, so you would have zero... This is equal to 20 times 6 cube over 9 minus 5 times 6 raised to 4 over 24 plus 5. Um, uh, X is 6 minus 4 raised to 4 over 24 plus C1 times 6. C2 is 0. Never mind the C2 na. Okay, solving for the value of the C1. Your value of C1 is negative 35.556. Something like that. Okay, that's the value of C1. 30, negative 35.556. Okay, so that's the value of C1. Okay. Ang problema, dili kasi kita maaram kung ha in the init maximum deflection. So, paano natin masosolve iton? We will mo natin kung ha, anit value hit x where the maximum deflection occurs. Another boundary condition that we can impose is is the fact that um, when uh, uh, the deflection is maximum, the the angle is zero. So, we can use that fact. So, um, Another boundary condition, if uh, um, when y prime is zero, this is when y prime is zero, that is uh, y ma y is maximum, Tama. So when y prime is zero, we say with the uh, the rotation or the angle is zero. This is for simply supported beam lang ha. Okay, y is max. Okay, so we can use this this ano. Okay, so we are finding for the value of x. We are solving, solving for value of x. Okay, so this will be, okay, gagamitin natin ang yun yung equation. So y prime is 0 daw. Adi man, y prime. Adi, y prime is 0. So this will be 0 is equal to um, 20x squared over 3 
minus 5x cubed over 6 plus 5x minus 4 cubed over 6 plus c1 that is negative 35 negative 35 so uh, negative 35.556 but be careful because uh na, diba nayakangkita yung maximum deflection is somewhere somewhere here somewhere in between a and c ibig sabihin an imo value han x is less than 4 when your x is less than 4 take note here ha diba nayakan ako mag negative nga ni init value din hi dapat hindi disregard here so when your x is less than 4 which is in fact true because um, we are anticipating that the maximum deflection half is in between uh, a and c because most of the load is uh, add to it to ha, segment a and c segment ac so in here din he and imo x is less than 4 so mag yield in here in negative value so you have to disregard this ano disregard that um, that term so natong gagamitin la ini okay now solving for the value of x okay let me solve for the value of x that is 0 is equal to 20 x squared over 3 minus 5 x raised to 3 over 6 minus 35.556 oops shift solve pala shift solve the value is negative 2 point. Okay, so your x is negative 2 point. Tira ba ito? Negative 2. Wala, negative man. Ay, oh, okay. Because there are, uh, that is quadratic kasi, di ba? So there are, uh, there are more than one value of x. So let us try to solve, say, 3. Ayan. Okay, suffer in between 0 and 4. So, 2.88. So, this is... Ay, bunga nga dam na dum-dum ka pa. Kasi yung negative. Ako na na mga limot na ako. Okay, let me explain ha. Kung kaya ano kang hina, ang answer natin is negative 2 point something. Tapos, now this time, ang ako na ko is 2.88. That is because our equation is cubic. Diba? Cubic equation has 3 roots. 3 roots, man. So, takayan akong gamit is shift solve. So, sometimes talaga, you have to be very careful. Oh, tayo to, to, three, cubic man here. So, there are three roots. Oh, oh. But made up, mas higher nga roots. So, anyway, and ako na natong gagamitin is yada nga 2.88889. Kaya di ba nangyakan kita, the value, um, the, the deflection is somewhere in between uh, a and C or 0 and 4, 0 to 4. So that is 2.889 oh, meters. This is in meters. So this is the value for X. Now, you already have the value of X. This is the place kung hain hitatabo and maximum deflection. So you will use that value of X to solve for the deflection, the maximum deflection. So masaring ka naman didi. Uh, adin na, the, the, using this equation for the deflection, you have here EI the deflection, times the deflection is equal to 20 times 2.889 cube over 9 minus 5, sige ma'am, 2.889 raised to 4 over 24 plus we will disregard this we will disregard this term because our value for x is 2.889 that is less than less than 4 so mag yield man here negative so we disregard natin here mm -mm. so magiging minus your c1 is 35.556 times um the value of x is 2.889 yeah, now solving for the value of y solving for the value of y this is equal to pera ba in here um let me try to use the calculator 
20 times 2.889 This is negative 63.65. This is 65. So this is y is equal to negative 63.65 over ei. So this is their maximum deflection. This is your maximum deflection. This is y negative times negative 63.65. Wamit niya it ano uh, deflection. Okay, so for your assignment. Oh, oh, dapat may the assignment. For your assignment, um, uh, you you have to solve the same ano the same equation. I mean the same um the same beam, the same beam. Find the maximum deflection. Okay, and I can answer using this, I know, using this method, this double integration method. And I can answer is negative 63.65 over EI. Okay, now you have your assignment will be to solve the same, I know, the same problem, the same, any, this one, this one, but you will use um, the virtual work method, the unit load method. You have to find, you are to find for the maximum deflection using the virtual work method okay so this one and also so do the assignment add to ngahin adding okay ha? this one this one right here okay isusurat ko dito igin bibiling ha number one find the deflection at Find the deflection at, say, at A. Number two, find the deflection, same lang, at, hindi naman kita, at E. Igol, o di ba? And number three, find the maximum deflection. Depende kung may signal. <laughs> okay, this is your assignment, ha? So, duduha nga, duduha nga beam. Ang kanina, tapos, anyan. Okay, this is to be submitted next Friday. Next Friday. Okay, ihatag na mo ang link, ang pagpasahin. Okay. Okay, so, that's all. Thank you for listening. Kon may da man namati. <laughs> okay, so if you don't have any questions, you can raise it on Wednesday. You can raise it uh, aton group chat. You can ask your questions. Para always be answer. Okay. Sige. Kindly inform also those uh, who are not uh, watching yana. Na may da assignment. The deadline will be on. Friday. The deadline will be on Friday. Okay? Okay, see Thank you. And Happy New Year.